perfect. All right, so we rode this the other day. This is where they filmed Angelina Jolie, that movie Salt. There's like a scene where she's jumping from one bridge to another, out of a car and all that. This is where they filmed it. Yeah. So I don't know exactly which which ones, but it's this this area. More recently, a motorcyclist fell. Like lost control, hit the freaking railing, launched and fell onto the highway below, 787. And come to find out, it's the it was the son of my uncle's friend, my uncle Dan. Yeah. And then also, similar thing happened within the past 10 years to a buddy of mine that I went to high school with, Bill Lemire. Same thing, he lost control, he fell off of the overpass on the 787. So, yeah. Yep. I think he had like a naked style bike. Maybe a GSS or GSX. I don't... Yeah, that's fine. We got a bike behind us. So there's two riders that I know of from the same kind of thing. So it'd be gotta be careful in these overpasses. Take your time, no need to be. It's a whole other hazard of what can go wrong up there. And those are just two examples. So be safe out there. So Bridge says, she, she has a really good point. A lot of the overpasses do have debris. It's just it's like there's nowhere for it to go. If it... And then I guess we can tell you another story on this road. We've told it before, but it hasn't seemed to make it onto the channel. What was it, four years ago? I think COVID? Bridget's cousin Ray got a snowmobile. We had a winter weather advisory, storm, whatever it's called, and that's when you're allowed to ride snowmobiles on the road. So he was okay to be doing what he was doing, but he was doing it at nighttime on this highway while it was snowing like multiple inches per hour and visibility was low and he had no helmet on. And he was going over 100 miles an hour and he hit the back of a tractor trailer. And the snowmobile burst into flames and he was, he was dead instantly. And even though Ray and I didn't see eye to eye the, the last few years he was alive, there was a longer period of time where I was very cool with him and nobody deserves to go through anything like the shit he went through his whole life. So, you know, it's not, doesn't mean I don't miss him, but I just feel horrible that that's how we went out. And he loved bikes too, did I remember he had all sorts of bikes. He was a thrill seeker. We definitely had that in common. And how about Ray Ray Bridge? Oh my god. You think she remembers? You think so? Like spending time with us? Oh, of course about losing her dad, I'm saying. You know, spending time with us when she was little. When I seen her a couple weeks ago at Vinny's birthday. Yes, it had been a while. I can't, couldn't believe. 
How almost adult like. I know, she's great. She's got a lot of love. Yo, what's going on? I got to thank you for checking out the Moto Vlog. And if you stayed up to this point and you just heard that creepy siren and you don't know what that leads to, well, let me tell you, it leads to a car up ahead on the highway that's on fire. But in order for us to even get a shot of that, we had to pass a Karen in the wild. Go check out the full video. It's up here somewhere. I'm a little newer to the cards and YouTube thing. Um, but it's definitely also down in the description. My name's Mike, a.k.a. Bravo. Thanks for watching. If you're out riding, two wheels down, shiny side up. I'll catch you on the next one, yo. Peace out. Something like that. How was that? Let's stop.